This video is intended to help all the CFOs, directors, and FPNA community that is currently looking for a budgeting and forecasting tool, and especially considering adaptive insights. The goal of this short video is to show you how quickly and intuitive, once your instance is configured, it is to create reports. I'll do a quick demonstration of how to create a standard actual versus budget report with variance and comparison to prior years. First thing we do, we go to our reports. Then we go to new report, matrix report. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna choose our accounts. This process is a simple drag and drop. I'll go through our GL accounts and I'll bring in our PNL account. So revenue, non-operating, cost of goods sold, expenses, and now we will also bring our net income. For our net income, I want it to I want to style it different, uh, so I want to highlight it in gray. Next, we are going to choose our levels. So I'll bring my level uh, as a filter, but I also want my level as a parameter. Next step. We're going to choose our, our time and our, we want it to be our time span. But we also want to make our time span a parameter, so I'll drag the time span to the parameter field as well. I'll change my properties here as I don't want to see days and quarters, just month and year. And I'll change here my range because I don't need to see data from all the way from 2015. So I'll just choose January 2018 going on. I'll click apply. Last piece, I need to bring the versions. First, I'll bring my actuals version. Then I'll bring my current working budget version. And last, I'll bring my actuals, but this actuals is gonna be offset one year, so it uh, matches the prior year actuals of the period we are running it for. So I'll go into version options, uh, and I will offset my year one year backwards click apply last i will bring some calculations so it gives us the variance between actuals versus budget and actuals versus prior year actuals so i'll do just a quick difference here i'll drop it after the working budget and i'll also do it after the prior year actuals so i'll change some uh, properties on this uh, calculations I just want to make it a diff difference so I'll call it variance click apply um, and then I'll change this as well to be prior year and then I'll change this calculation as well I'll change the label to be prior year variance and then in this one I will say subtract version uh, from actuals, right, uh, year, this year against from version of actuals last year. Click apply. That's all you pretty much you have to do to create the report. And now all there is left is to run. You click run. And now you can see all your actual versus budget. If you just run it, if you, you can see it, you ha it has every month here all the way to December 2019. But we can, if we just run a run one month, you can change it fairly quick. And you refresh it. And now you have your January actual versus budget uh, versus prior year. Not only that, you can also in the in your filters route now run for any uh, department or. Uh, level that you have created for your company this is the end of our video hope this video demonstrated how easy and intuitive reporting is in adaptive insights and help you in your decision making process of a new budget and forecasting tool enjoy your day and thanks for watching